Hey, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to solve an interesting question which asks us to evaluate the sum of these binomial coefficients and get an explicit closed form for the answer. So we have 2022 choose zero plus 2022 choose three, choose six up to 2022 choose 2022. Um, so we're summing every third binomial coefficient here uh, and we notice 2022 actually is a multiple of, two, of three. We can check that by um, adding the digits and noticing that the sum of the digits is a multiple of three. So 2022 is a multiple of three itself. So how do we go about summing something like this? Um, so we're gonna use to our advantage the binomial theorem. And so the binomial theorem states something like this. If we take the algebraic expression one plus x and raise it to the 2022, um, then we're gonna get a sum that looks like this. It's the sum k equals zero to 2022 of binomial 2022 choose k, x to the k. Okay, so we're gonna use that to our advantage looking at this particular sum. Now the thing is, this doesn't fit this sum here um, because here we're summing over all possible k instead of um, the ones that are multiples of three. Um, so we're gonna have to find a way to manage with that. So the key step in figuring this out is actually introducing evaluations of this particular expression for various values of x that allow us to eliminate everything that's not a multiple of three. And the way we're gonna do that is by introducing the complex number e to the two pi i over three. All right, so if we look at this number, if we square it, we get e to the four pi over three. Four pi i over three. And uh, there are some things we can notice about these numbers. These two numbers are both roots of the polynomial x cubed minus one. This factors into x minus one times x squared plus x plus one. All right, and so these two things are roots of that because their cubes are one. However, neither of these are actually the value one. So in particular, if I look at this, this value here, omega, omega cubed minus one is zero, but omega minus one is not zero. So omega is a root of this piece here. So we'll make a note that omega squared plus omega plus one is zero. That'll come in handy. Okay, so I'd like to play with this binomial expression using these omegas to figure something about, out about what we're trying to solve. And I'm gonna write down this expression explicitly. So we have 2022 choose zero plus 2022 choose one x plus 2022 choose two x squared plus 2022 choose three x cubed, etc. cetera. All right. So this, in fact, is one plus x. I'll make some room here to write that down. This is one plus x to the 2022. Okay, so let's plug in some values here. If we plug in the value one for x, we'll get the sum of all the binomial coefficients. So when x is one, this tells us that two to the 2022 is the sum of all the binomial coefficients. Get this one, etc. Now let's plug in some of these roots of unity. Let's plug in x equals omega. Here we'll get one plus omega to the 2022, and it'll equal 2022 choose zero plus 2022 choose one omega plus 2022 choose two omega squared plus 2000 
22 choose 3 omega cubed, and omega cubed is 1. So this will repeat. The next thing we'll get is an uh, omega to the fourth, which is omega, because omega cubed is 1. Okay, now if we plug in x equals omega squared, we'll get 1 plus omega squared to the 2022 is 2022 choose 0 plus 2022 choose 1 omega squared plus 2022 choose 2 omega to the fourth because it's the square of this value, omega squared that we plugged in. But omega to the fourth is omega because omega cubed is 1. So this is omega plus 2022 choose 3 omega squared cubed, which is 1, plus, and we'll get a cycling of this thing again. So what we can do is add these column by column. Now, on the left, we'll have 2 to the 2022 plus 1 plus omega to the 2022 plus 1 plus omega squared to the 2022. And let's look at what we have on the right-hand side. We'll get three copies of this first coefficient. Now we'll have a 2022 choose 1 with a common factor of 1 plus omega plus omega squared. But 1 plus omega plus omega squared is 0. So all of this goes away. And by a similar light, here we'll have 1 omega squared omega, and that sum is still 0, so all of this goes away. And then now we have three copies of 2022 choose 3. And then for the 2022 choose 4 contribution, we'll get a 0 again by the same thing here, another 0, and then we'll get 3 times 2022 choose 6, etc. That looks a lot like the sum that we're interested in over here. If we call this sum s, this expression on the right is 3 times s. So now we have an actual explicit formula for what s is. s is this entire thing right over here divided by 3. So we're going to simplify this even more, but if we like what we've done so far, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more interesting insights like this. Okay, so how are we going to simplify this even more? Let's write down this expression that we have now for s. So our sum s that we're interested in is this thing here. plus 1 plus omega to the 2022 plus 1 plus omega squared to the 2022. Okay. <clears throat> we can simplify this a little bit more using this expression here again. So I'll leave the 2022 on the power of 2 here. Uh, and here, 1 plus omega is negative omega squared, so I'll write that down. Negative omega squared to the 2022. And then similarly here, we have a negative omega to the 2022. Okay. Plugging in what those actual values are, we get 2 to the 2022 plus negative e to the 4 pi over 3 to the 2022 plus e to the negative e to the 2 pi over 3 to the 2022. This negative will go away because of the exponent, and this exponent here is going to actually be a multiple of 2 pi i, because 3 divides uh, 2022. So this thing will be a multiple, an integer multiple of 2 pi i, and so here we'll end up with the value 1. And similarly here, we'll get the value 1 as well. So s then is 2 to the 2022 plus 2 divided by 3.